our awesome Sleepaway Camp reunion. And he comes out of the water and he comes over to me and he goes, Tell me, he goes, You 
those wardrobe people who put them in big blankets and he was just all and he goes, I have shrinkage. <laughs> he goes to the water store. <laughs> I don't want I don't want the I don't want the wardrobe people like to think that bullshit. <laughs> like everybody knows you go in cold water and then I had the scene afterwards and I was doing it with extras from the area, right? So they were all standing around these big farm boys and, and I push them into the water and Johnny's still standing there, and these guys come out of the water, literally dragging their penises behind them. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing Johnny Dubs play, he was so embarrassed. That was for me, that was the best part. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I, I don't remember the shrinkage part. Uh, <laughs> I, I was in this ball. Kissing. <laughs> 
Mike Kelly outside the door? That did actually. Was he outside the door? Was Mike outside the door? Because I remember going out and he's like, let's take it from Mike. <laughs> Okay, so on our podcast, we have some segments that we always hit, and I think that this is a perfect panel to bring some of those in. One of our segments is always fashion moments. Okay, a fashion moment from Sleepaway Camp. It doesn't have to be yours. It has to, it has to be, it has to be bold. Yes. Hello, Ronnie! And there was, and there was, was he wearing shorts? And he would do like, we would be the half of and honey cap is a school workout. <laughs> you have to eat brownies. He's like, grab it. He's like, there's no weights here. Well, he's like, just grab a chair. <laughs> and what if they grab a chair? And then you're trying to, he's got muscles everywhere. You're not trying to look at the shorts. Even though he's kind of very skinny shorts. <laughs> you have a sneaky top. You have a sneaky top. And then you have a little floor and crop top. Oh, that's right. Now my favorite is Cheeto. When it comes in with his house shirt, oh, that's hot. That's 1982 right there, baby. And whenever he comes on screen with that belly and that shirt, everybody goes, yeah! <laughs> that's me. I'm not going to be self centered but of course, this time will be jail. Beyond, beyond, beyond blessed to have family and to have 
So I'm going to my butt, James. But nonetheless, she, Robert wanted, Robert, the word is that Robert wanted to hire me, but we all had brown hair. And he didn't want to be brunette, so he hired Jane. And then Jane didn't want to do the coherence. So she got cows. And then Robert hired me without telling you about the coherence. <laughs>
but there are, I know they made two copies, and I don't know, two, somewhere out there, there's two of my heads. <laughs> Somebody's match all that. I don't know what happened to them, you know, when you mentioned that shirt. But you must have been smiling. Yeah, yeah. I know Robert was so deliberate in yeah, every yeah. aspect of this. It had, it had to have been, and it's like, and literally, you, you were like this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I just saw the best penis ever. <laughs> Oh, 
electrical tape as a mustache. <laughs> that, that, and then I remember him leaving the set to go do a modeling shoot, and he had to shave his mustache to get back. I think Robert was like, yeah, just electrical tape. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching that, and I was like, oh, yeah, I can tell. Um, that was just great. We were all hanging out, and then, oh, yeah, now I'm going to get a <laughs> Which was not a big deal after my cowboy. Yeah. 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 All my friends were like, wow, you made me like that. I was like, I she did it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel special. I did, did it for a day or seven. Yeah, really? Six years. Like, oh, gee. Oh, 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 I said to everybody, we might want to see you There's a very gorgeous guy on set. Um, went to like an Ivy school. Rick, Rick, and Rick, yeah. Tall, handsome, articulate. Yeah. And the uh, and he loved. He was in love with Kathy. So he was trying to. And he just passed away. So yeah. Uh, yeah, a couple, long time. Couple, yeah, a couple of years ago. So which was sad. And uh, and he was trying to get Kathy in it. You know. And, and, so I was trying to fix him up. John Dunn was trying to fix him up. And then finally John Dunn was like, you're an idiot. She likes you. Like, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. like me. Yeah. You're the hip. Why would you like me? I like the funny cute guy. Uh, and and uh, yeah, then we did. That's no funny. Long, really long. But that's embarrassing. <laughs> she doesn't like the tall, strapping. <laughs> I mean, he's close, and he came in with a suitcase with his entire wardrobe. No. That could 
still fit. The, I swear, I'm not even joking, like the red shorts could not even go on my wrist. Like they were, you know, look, let's look at one of my shorts. Look, look at my shorts. Like, I can hardly see that they're like the size of a bad child. Like, you know, small shorts I want the movie to be called Robbie's Penis because the whole movie is like focused on him. And he comes on screen, it's like it zooms in. Like, <laughs> Do we have any others? Yes? Speaking of penises, you are the mangled dick expert. Can you tell us what the last drive-in set's like? <laughs> Do we all love Joe Buck? Great. I love being on that show, and being on that set is exactly what it seems. It is just pure joy and fun. Has anyone seen the Valentine's Day special? Yeah. yeah. Season five is coming, and I'm so proud to say that I will be involved a lot more. There are skits, and it's, again, it's just a joy. I love the whole cast and crew, and I'm so grateful to be a part of that amazing show. I love Shudder. They're great. Get Shudder. All right, we have time for one more audience question before I wrap this up. Do we have any? Yes. children, both actors, and um, my daughter, of course, was terrified for most of her life, and then became a, a horror actress and writer herself, um, <laughs> has a couple of incredible things out, and uh, and my son was a horror addict from the time he was little, completely opposite of her, and wanted to watch, you know, watch all the Final Destination, he wanted to watch everything, and I showed it to him when he was about, I think, about 12, and he just, at the end, he didn't quite get it, he was like, huh? <laughs> I said, think about it, think about it, and then he just loved it. <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, I have a daughter who um, is very successful in the industry and is about to sell her first TV show later. Yeah. And she uh, does a podcast with Curious with Jonathan Van Ness. Jonathan Van Ness. So um, she really isn't impressed with me at all. Um, <laughs> not at all. But my son is transgender. So I'm super fucking proud of him. So 
so cool. So for them, it's just it's been such a big part of their lives. Now my oldest just had his first child, little fields, and uh, you know it's like it's crazy because that's going to just keep on because of just you guys. You're just awesome. It's going to be something they, they you know, the next generation grows up with. So we really, really, really. I, I, I can't say enough. I really appreciate you guys very, very much. Yeah, it is great so much for being such a lot of fans. It is really cool to be involved with something that goes now to, to a new generation. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Hell yeah, that's the horror community, man. Yeah. Yeah.